Hey, what's up Gravy Flips? I'm back. We're two days after Christmas and I've got a really cool PlayStation 3 collection with over 150 games. I paid $310 for everything I'm going to show you guys. In addition, I'm hoping to give out this PlayStation 2 Grand Theft Auto that's sealed. It's part of a two-piece fat pack. It's the Grand Theft Auto 3 that's sealed. I'm hoping to give this out on December 31st, but we need to get to 500 subscribers. So if you want to be in the sweepstakes, all you're going to do is comment Grand Theft Auto below. And if on December 31st we have 500 subscribers, I'll be giving it out. And if not, I'm just going to boost that forward to January 31st. If this is your first time at the channel. This is a place where we come together to try to be financial free, to work on our side hustles, to enjoy video games, to enjoy video game collecting, to enjoy the coolness that comes with having your own business. And we flip uh, furniture, collectibles, and video games trying to earn some extra gravy, hence gravy flips. Uh, my name is Brian, I'm a full-time teacher, and I'm super excited to show you this collection that I have. Stay tuned. You can see we have that Call of Duty, the dual pack right here, which sells for around $20, $25. We have Killzone, Battlefield games, the Army of Two bundle. I normally bundle those up for like $20, $25. I have more Need for Speed. I'm probably going to bundle up all five of those, all four of them, for like $30 or $40. I'll definitely be bundling up all those Assassin's Creed games for around 40. They sell pretty quickly. Uh, with PS3 games, the idea is to just kind of bundle them up. <clears throat> bundles of like six, four if you can, with free shipping. And you can normally get like, when all of a sudden done, like five or six bucks a piece for them. You know, like these, these Call of Duty games down here, I'm gonna bundle up. Let me go back up over here. We got Marvel, we got God of War. Show you some of these games here. A Realm Re Reborn. I haven't actually played this game but I've heard it's pretty good. I gave out one of the, this Marvel vs. Capcom game on the on the Dreamcast. That was a pretty cool little giveaway I did. But on the PS2, the Marvel vs. Capcom is worth quite a bit, but on here it's only worth around like $20. Let's keep looking for titles. We've got Madden games, of course, the Cabela's, Deus Ex. I've heard good things about that game, and I haven't actually played it. Dynasty Warriors, you know, Warhawk, Mag, The Last of Us. And then down here on the front on my showcase, you know, we've got the Call of Duties. We have all the Sniper Elite titles. Let me move you closer so you can see. We've got Fallout. And I, I've never actually seen this game right here, and I haven't looked up its price either, but the God of the Godfather 2. Bought a lot of collections, and I haven't had that one come through. Or maybe I've gotten it before, before I did videos, and my wife was actually the one who listed it and stuff. I don't know. But there's the Batman Game of the Year edition and the Gran Turismo five prologue so yeah that's your daily lo dose of nostalgia well it used to be daily uh let me sit down and figure out how much all this is worth so we can total up how much i made on this collection okay everybody so i just added up everything and i remember i paid 310 dollars for the collection so i tallied up everything that I, I saw as value remember for common games that i don't bundle up in like four groups of four or six i normally put them in auctions of like 95 to 105 games it can get around $200 to $300, depending on what's in there. Uh, the fact that there's 160 games, I'm almost getting to two of those kind of collections. So I valued all the games pretty close to $500, which is, you know, there's some pretty decent titles in there. The accessories, the PS3 controller, I put that around $30, the console around $100, the PS2 around $75, and... When I add everything up, it comes to a total of $765, and then when I subtract the $310, it gives me an estimated profit or expected profit of $455, given that everything works. I'm going to have to clean these pretty well because they do reek of cigarette smoke, which is not my favorite thing to do. If furniture smells like cigarettes, I, I'll, I just leave. So if this is something you guys are finding any value in, I'm a full-time teacher, and I've found reselling to be a great way to supplement my income. If you guys look down below, you'll see that I wrote almost a 40 page guide on reselling furniture and video games where I give you guys like the, the state of the art ways to source video games, even if you just want to collect. I also talk about different types of furniture that I resell and do fairly well on that. Pretty much just a, a, a pretty in-depth way of me explaining everything that I know about reselling. In addition to that, there is a free guide on how to resell dressers. I think dresses are a great way to get into the reselling of furniture because if you can sell one dresser per day at $75, you know, 
that'll boost your income by $25,000 extra per year, which is amazing. And that's my goal for furniture is to do around $250 a day in furniture because that means I'm bringing in around $90,000 a year, which is phenomenal. Just for furniture, you know, and that is a daily average all year. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my reseller guides on my website. I will be doing the giveaway on December 31st if we hit 500 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for joining in on another great episode of Gravy Flips. Have a great one, and I'm going, I'm going to pick up another collection tomorrow morning. So I'll have another video. Thanks, guys.